everyone, Ben Kohler from Dynamic Beacon here in lovely Tampa, Florida at Digital Dealer 18. Welcome to the third installment of Dynamic Solutions. Today's topic will be dealership e-newsletters. You know, we're extremely surprised when we converse with dealerships and they tell us they do not send an e-newsletter to their existing owner base. The reason is because your existing customers are your best new potential new customers. Those who have already done business with you are most likely to do business with you again. And a, and a newsletter is an extremely effective and inexpensive way in which to reach those folks. And for those of you who already are sending a newsletter, we compliment you for doing so and just want to share with you a couple tips to improve its performance. So the first thing to consider when sending an e-newsletter is the send frequency. How often are you sending this thing? We really believe the right send frequency is once every other month. I think too often we find ourselves sending a newsletter every month and along with all the other email content that's being sent, we become over solicitous. And, and customers ultimately start unsubscribing from your newsletters, from your service reminders, from whatever other email campaigns you might be sending. So first and foremost, make sure you have the right send frequency, which again is once every other month. So the second item we then want to address with the newsletter is content. Again, oftentimes we find ourselves filling the newsletter with sales related content and ignore the fact that fixed operations is the backbone of the dealership. Your service related content needs to be first and foremost in these dealership e-newsletters. Yes, you want to include sales related content, vehicle promotions, new and used, but the emphasis should be on fixed stops. And lastly, related to the content, can't do this without saying please do not include cupcake recipes or any recipes in your e-newsletters. They do not help you sell and service more vehicles. Get them out of there. So the last tip we want to cover related to the e-newsletters is the tracking. Yes, absolutely, you need to track open rates and click rates, but go even deeper than that. With Google UTM tracking codes, you can then track the behavior of your customers when they move from the inbox, from the email, to your website. So, so long as you have Google Analytics set up on your website, you can add Google UTM tracking codes to all of those links and really see what sort of behavior is then happening when those folks go from newsletter to your website. Just simply search Google UTM tracking codes and you'll, it'll walk you right through how to do it. So that's it for today's Dynamic Solution. I want to thank you for watching the video here and welcome you to join us again next week. Again, Ben Kohler at Dynamic Beacon. Feel free to hit us up on our website, dynamicbeacon.com, or feel free to give us a call at 339-707-5095. Thanks so much, and for those of you at Digital Dealer, enjoy the conference.